Welcome back everyone. Now let's look at the top capabilities of the Python Oracle DB release, including specific attributes of the thin and the thick modes. So we have a whole host of functionalities in Python Oracle DB to access and work with Oracle database, starting with SQL and PLSQL execution, which provides significant optimizations, including compressed fetch, prefetching, client and server result set caching, and statement caching with auto tuning for the SQL and PLSQL data. We also have SODA or simple Oracle document access support, which is especially useful, but not restricted for working with JSON data. So in SODA, you will work with NoSQL style APIs, which are used to access and work with data in document format instead of the table format. There is extensive Oracle data type support in Python Oracle DB, including large object support, such as globs and blobs, JSON, collections, and named objects. In fact, you can do direct binding to SQL objects. One great use case in using Python Oracle DB is to bind Python objects to Oracle spatial data objects. Next, we have ref cursors and nested cursors support. Then you, we have a bunch of connection management features like pooling, external authentication capabilities like Kerberos and LDAP authentication, and also the ability to connect to database resident connection pooling when enabled in Oracle database, which allows for optimal usage of Oracle databases resources. Next, you have performance features like array fetching, row prefetching, which allows for efficient use of the network. Then you have client result caching capability, which improves the performance of frequently executed lookup statements. Finally, you can do array DML operations for efficient insert, update and merge execution. And also these operations enables fetching of large result sets with easy tuning. Oracle database high availability features is also supported in Python Oracle DB, such as fan notifications, application continuity and transaction guard support. Next, messaging capabilities such as advanced queuing, continuous query notifications are, are supported. And also you have support for addition based redefinition or EBR to enable uninterrupted availability of the Oracle based applications during patching or upgrades. Python Oracle DB allows you to make full use of the Oracle network service infrastructure, including encrypted network traffic and security features. And last but not the least, you have thin and thick modes for efficient use of every available feature in the Oracle database. Of course, there are much, much more features that are available, which you can get in the Python Oracle DB's external documentation. If you remember from the previous video, the Python Oracle DB driver is a thin driver by default, which connects directly to the Oracle database and has an optional thick mode. So let's take a deeper look into the select differences between the thin and the thick modes. In the thin mode, Oracle database support starts from version 12.1 or later. The thick mode supports Oracle database version 9.2 or later, depending on the Oracle client library versions. Looking at what's supported in both the thin and the thick modes, well, Python database API version 2 specifications are supported in both the modes. Connection pooling, inbound notifications and DRCP support is available. One-way TLS and mutual TLS authentication, which is especially required for connecting to Oracle Cloud Autonomous Databases, are supported in both the modes. SQL execution, PLSQL execution with data binding, array fetching and batch execution support is available in both the modes. Standard data types, including LOBS and JSON, are supported across both the thin and the thick modes. Looking at some of the capabilities that are supported only in thick mode, you have the high availability or continuous availability features such as application continuity and transparent application continuity, the messaging features such as advanced queuing and continuous query notifications, SODA which is the NoSQL style API for connecting to Oracle database, edition based redefinition for uninterrupted availability of Oracle based applications, named objects and collections are all currently supported only in thick mode. However, we are planning to move these thick mode only features to the thin mode as well in subsequent releases of Python Oracle DB. In the meantime, do remember to check out the namespaces and URLs where Python Oracle DB and its related documentation and articles are located. So please take a moment to look at the slide and please go through the links that are listed in the slide whenever you have the time. So we are done with the key features of Python Oracle DB. In the next video, I'll talk about how Python Oracle DB driver compares with the earlier CX underscore Oracle version. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.